four modules for the design of cantilever retaining walls, counter fort retaining walls, basement retaining walls, and sheet pile retaining walls. To create a calculation, just click on any of the buttons. I have created a calculation already for a cantilever retaining wall. Double click on the example. And this is the template for a cantilever retaining wall in ASDIP Retain. In the left pane, you enter the input information. In the right pane, you see the results. In the geometry tab, you enter all the geometric information of the wall, such as the stem height and the thickness. The stem material can be either concrete or masonry. Also in the footing tab, you enter all the footing information. The wall can be supported directly on soil or can be supported on piles. And the program includes both solutions. In the backfill and cover, you enter the information on the backfill height, the slope, and the soil cover. In the loads tab, in the backfill tab, you enter the properties of the backfill, such as the density, the soil pressure theory, the internal friction angle, and the location of the water table. In the surcharge tab, you can specify a uniform surcharge or a strip surcharge. Both can be dead and live. The concentrated tab, you can specify a vertical load and horizontal concentrated load, dead and live. In the wind tab, you enter the wind pressure and also the wind height from the top of the wall. Finally, in the seismic tab, you enter the seismic parameters. In the materials tab, you enter the material properties for the stem, for the footing, and for the bearing soil. In this case, you can specify the allowable bearing pressure, the friction coefficient, the internal friction angle with the bearing soil, and the depth to neglect the passive pressure. In the reinforcement tab, there are a number of controls to model the rebars in the stem, in the footing, and in the shear key. In the right pane, the at a glance tab shows a summary of the results in one screen, so you can see immediately if something here is failing, and uh, just focus your attention on that deficiency. The contents tab shows a more detailed set of calculations uh, grouped by topic, also by controlling load combination, so you can see the results very quickly in this view. In the detail tab, you can see a detailed set of calculations step by step with exposed formulas and also with references to the ACI code with the controlling load combinations. Finally, in the graph tab, the overturning analysis of the, of the structure also can group by a load combination, the sliding analysis, the bearing analysis of the wall, the stem design, with the shear and moment diagrams, the footing showing the toe and the heel design with the controlling load combinations, and finally in the construction tab you see the rebars that you just designed with a uh, section and elevation views. The program supports uh, load combinations for ASS705, ASS71016, ASHTO LRFD 2020, and user-defined uh, load combinations. For example, if we select ash to load combinations, the strength, click OK. So now the design complies with the ash to LRFD. For example, you can see here the overturning analysis. Now ash to calculate the eccentricity and uh, can be sorted by the LRFD ash to load combinations. Same applies to sliding and bearing the stem design and footing. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's create a calculation for a counterfort, the same example. Double click. And this is a template for a counterfort retaining wall design in ASDIP Retain. Similarly to the previous module, here you enter the geometric information for the stem, for the counterfort, for the footing, and uh, for the backfill and uh, cover. In the loads tab, you can enter the loads as in the previous module. In the materials tab, material properties for the stem, for the footing, and for the bedding soil. In the reinforcement tab, graphical controls to model the rebars for the stem, for the counterfort, for the footing, and for the shear key. In the right pane, the at a glance shows a summary of the results. In the condensed tab, is a more detailed set of calculations grouped by topic. In the detail tab, step-by-step -step set of calculations, counter for design, heel design, 
And in the graph tab, see the returning analysis, sliding analysis, the bearing analysis in this tab. This is the stem design, and then the footing design for the toe and for the heel, and the construction tab showing the counterforts. Please note that this retaining wall can be supported by piles as well, and this will be reflected immediately in the calculations and all the graphical information. Let's go back to the project manager. Now let's create a calculation for a basement retaining wall. Example. Double click. And this is a template for a basement retaining wall design in ASDIP Retain. As in the previous modules, you enter the geometry information in the stem, the footing, the backfill and cover, and here the base fixity can be specified either pinned at base or fixed at base. The loads tab enter the information similar to the previous modules, same as the material uh, properties. In the reinforcement tab, you can specify the rebars for the stem, for the footing, and for the shear key. In the right pane, the other glance shows a summary of the results in one screen. The condensed tab shows a more detailed set of calculations grouped by topic, the toe design, the heel design. And in the detail tab, we have a detailed set of calculations with exposed formulas and with references to the ACI code as well. Finally, in the, in the graph tab, you see the overturning analysis in this tab, and the sliding analysis, bearing analysis, stem design with the moment and shear diagrams generated, the footing design, and finally the construction tab. In this module we can also model a pile supported wall. For example in the stability tab we can see the piles and in this case the program calculates the pile uh, axial and horizontal capacities. The footing tab showing the piles the shear and moment diagrams of the pile cap and the construction tab. We can go to the ash to load combinations, the sliding analysis per ash to load combinations, bearing design, the stem design also, ash to load combinations, the footing design, and finally the construction tab. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's create a calculation for a sheet pile retaining wall. Double click. And this is the template for a sheet pile retaining wall in ASDIP Retain. The sheet pile type can be cantilever or anchored. Here you specify the excavation depth, the soil slope, if any, and the water table location. In the materials tab, you can specify up to four layers of soil and for each layer you enter the thickness, the moist density, the saturated density, the friction angle and the cohesion. In the wall tab you enter the uh, sheet pile uh, yield strength FY and the modulus of elasticity. In the loads tab here you specify the lateral pressure theory either Coulomb active, ranking active, or at rest. You can specify also a surcharge dead and live loads and seismic loads as well. In the right pane, you see at a glance a summary of the results. The program uh, calculates the wall pressures. It finds the maximum shear and maximum bending moment and deflection and calculates the required section modulus and area for this sheet piling. In the condensed tab, you see a more detailed set of calculations. These are the lateral uh, pressure coefficients per the Coulomb active uh, pressure theory. These are the wall pressures in more detail and the wall design. In the detail tab, you see a more detailed set of calculations with exposed formulas for the calculation of the lateral coefficients. And here is the calculation of the wall lateral pressures in more detail. The program calculates the moment at the bottom of the sheet piling. This should be zero. And after several iterations, the program calculates the required embedment depth. So the total depth is equal to the excavation depth plus the embedment depth. Then the program calculates the maximum shear, moment, and deflection, finds the allowable bending and shear stresses, 
and calculate the required section modulus and area for the sheet piling. Finally, in the graph tab, you see graphically the pressures acting in the back of the wall and at the front of the wall. So the active pressure and the passive pressure. This is the effect of the water table at the back and at the front. And this is the loading diagram, which is a combination of all these pressures. In the diagrams tab, the program generates the shear diagram, the bending moment diagram, and the deflection. So with this information, the maximum shear and the maximum moment, the program calculates the required properties of the sheet piling. If you are interested in the software, please visit the website www.azipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial.